Well, welcome to the show. Today I'm going to talk about Dunlop nylon guitar picks. I have a love-hate relationship with guitar picks. When I bought my first professional guitar back in like 1980, I'd already uh, been playing for a while and preferred playing finger style because the picks would would spin around like a like a fidget in my fingers and and I couldn't get a decent sound out of them. So I, I, I had a claw hammer method. But I, I had this Guild guitar that I picked up that had F holes in it and there was rattling going on in there. So I rattled it out and there was a nylon Dunlop guitar pick. And this thing had ridges on it. So it, it actually provided a little more grip and I'd experimented throughout the years. I've even made my own out of boiled leather, which are great, mind you, but after two sets, they're done. So um, um, the best compromise I found for what I like to do with picks is the, the Dunlop nylon. Recently, I've been playing more and more with picks and saving my fingers. So, um, and I've been borrowing picks from, from friends and, and it, it got to the point where you know, why, why would you want a floppy, loose little pick or, or a really hard pick? So I went out and I bought the whole range. And this video is about the whole range of picks. I'm going to play on electric and acoustic, just so you can see the difference. And I, I did a, a, a metered thing so, so we can actually see the decibel levels and the difference there. But um, I'm, I'm going to start out with uh, playing acoustic and playing with... Uh, a uh, 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 0.38 millimeter so, so you get an idea as to what the sound is because they do sound different with Now for the 46. Three. This happens to be the gauge that I actually found that day. And now, 88, which has become a favorite of mine. And now, 88.
one millimeter. Now the 1.3 millimeter Eric Johnson Custom Nylon Jazz 3. For a final comparison, finger style. With guns and guns and drums. Now we're going to see what the DB meter has to say with the 38. Okay, that's average 56.8 with a peak of 63.3. Now the 48. Okay, that's average 60.1, peak 65.4. Now with the 60, it's 63.2 on the average and 69.6 on the peak. Now the 73, that's 64.6 on the average and 69.9 on the peak. Now for the 88. That's 66 on the average and 70.3 on the peak. Now for the one millimeter. Okay, that's 66.1 on the average and 70.4 on the peak. Now for the 1.38 millimeter. Okay, that's 66.3 on the average and 71.6 on the peak. All right, and finally to round it out, we're going to do finger style. It's 58.9 on the average and 65.7 on the peak. So that falls right in the range of uh, 0.46 millimeter pick. So if I wanted to simulate that level of sound, that's the size of pick that I should use. Interesting. <laughs> now I'm going to do a little blues picking with the 38 and see what that happens like.
try that with the 46. with the 60. One millimeter. All right, now the jazz pick at one point three eight millimeter. finger style. Now on to electric. So we'll put that aside and we'll take this thing up. Six. Too much fun here. <laughs> Sixty.
jazz pick at 1.38. did I learn? <laughs> well, I learned that with the softer picks, whether it's electrical or acoustic guitar, when I'm palm muting, it sounds better. The harder picks are a little better for, for ringing out clear notes when you're finger picking or, or note picking. Um, yeah, but I was surprised at, at the difference. I didn't think there would be that big of a difference when I was playing the electric, but there obviously is. Um, and I, I know from, from, from recent experience that, that playing with the softest pick is best when the roommate is sleeping. <laughs> and I'm not sponsored by Dunlop to do this. It was just something that I wanted to do. And, and no one talks about picks, and they're an important part of it. And they they actually do provide the instrument brush stroke. So you can see that there is a big difference there. Um, the other thing I'd like to touch on is I also do have a, a Dunlop um, Tortex pick. That was a 60. And I checked that earlier. And the DB on that is, is virtually the same as on the 60 on the nylon pick. So I don't think materials matter quite so much. I wasn't getting a lot of difference in sound there at the 60. I, I haven't tried any. Well, I have tried some of the softer ones, but it, again, it doesn't have that grip on there that I like from the nylon picks. 
So um, that's it in a nutshell. Try your different picks. I recommend trying softies and I recommend trying hardies. Um, find one that you like. Um, I'm thinking now that I'm probably going to be focusing more on the, the uh, probably the, the 46 millimeter because that's closest to the finger style. And I can do more with the, the palm muting, which I like to do when I'm, when I'm playing. And uh, yeah, but in louder environments, I will be going with a heavier pick because that happens too, especially when you're playing acoustic outside and there's a big crowd or whatever and you want to be heard. You got to get up on your soapbox and then you got to you got to play really loud and then you got to yell at the top of your voice but you'll also notice in the singing segment i had to increase the volume of my my voice in order to be heard over the guitar so it, it if you're with a warm comfortable gathering of friends this is one of the things you can do on an acoustic guitar to control the volume so that's the the other thing i've learned so with that be good be kind and i'll catch you later bye